Hey there guys, it's Tyler Silk for Canadian, the Gaming Guy TLG, and as you may already, as you might already be able to tell, uh, the music for the, uh, home screen is gone. Um, as usual, what, uh, um, I'm doing what, what a lot of YouTubers do in most of these LPs. Basically what I'm doing is, I'm turning off the music, uh, because of possible copyright infringement that, uh, I could get on my YouTube channel, I could get possible copyright infringement strikes because of the uh, copyrighted music in this game. Because it was made by real world uh, music creators, so I don't really want copyright infringement. And I wish I would have did that on my first and second, uh, first, second, and third videos. But uh, sadly, we won't be listening to the music anymore, but we'll still have the fantastic gameplay and stuff. And while I was away, of course, like I said, I worked on getting the rest of the amulets for Tank Lantis Plank Panthers and Amulet Adventure. Now today, we're moving on to Snap Happy at the Bikini Bottom Museum. So let's check it out. A little bit too loud. This is weird, because in the actual episode... That admission thing was green, not blue, and the admission sign was different for both right there on the right that they're looking at, and the one on top of Mr. Krabs' thing there. And Spongebob and Patrick are using the half amulet as this wheel. Really? So like Spongebob just said at the end there, there's going to be museum guards running around everywhere and uh, they're going to be coming out certain doors at certain parts in the level in which you have to throw Krabby Patties at because if they turn on their megaphones and they yell at, it th uh, uh, yell at you through it, then you'll lose 10 points. They'll take 10 points off your score because every time you photograph one of the exhibits, you get like 200 points and then the so-called secret thing that Spongebob was talking about that you had to photograph was uh, the security guards uh, falling asleep around the level. Now basically what you have to do to them is basically you have to throw, uh, throw one of those stale Krabby Patties at the guard and then try your best to take some of the, uh, take the picture of the guard getting mad before it's too late. Some of the chances for these photos, uh, the chance for you to get some of these photos are really slim because the camera goes past them too fast and you can end up screwing up and not get the picture. So if I don't, uh, so if I don't do 100% perfect here, I apologize, but that's basically how it goes. But anyway, SpongeBob is at the museum to learn about the amulet and wants to take some snaps. He could have just said pictures. The best exhibits glow green. Fling Krabby Patties at anyone out of structure photos, aka the guards running around the place. Use the pointer to aim the camera. Yep, so we're gonna have to use the pointer on this one. I may end up having to stand up if I don't do too, uh, too well sitting down. Because I did have a little practice last night, because I know I was going to be doing this today. Um, press A to take the pictures, press B to fire the Krabby Patties, and shake the Wii Remote or press 1 to reload. I'd rather press 1, don't you? Wow. Taking away the music really obstructs the fun in it. I don't like that. Oh, like this, see? And here comes one of the guards yelling at you that he had to throw patties at. Oh my god. That wasn't a manly voice. Oh, I think I just screwed up a picture, guys. I threw, like, a Krabby Patty at it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Alright. Some of these guards say the funniest gibberish thing. Some of these exhibits actually move. Look at that. If you throw Krabby Patties at certain exhibits throughout the museum, then they move. To me, that's a pretty cool feature. 
Now, when these tourists are in the way, you basically throw the stale Krabby Patties at them, and depending on where you throw them at, they'll do these hilarious falling animations. If you throw it, like, to the top of their head, they'll do that. They'll do hilarious freaking animations. Crap. Oh, I killed him. Ah, oh, I thought I was actually going to get perfect on here, but I'm going to end up missing a guard. After you kill the guard off, there's no way you can get a picture of him. And I just killed another one. I'm a freaking idiot. It's like my, uh, it's like my index finger is, uh, uh, getting the urge to always press the B button when I don't want it to. Well, screw that. Man. This has gone from being perfect to a disaster. By the way, you can hit this flying Dutchman head and it does that. <laughs> I love some of the animations from the exhibits. There's huge and then there's you. And if you hit this thing, it'll just swing backwards. By the way, these purple vases you see around, do not, I repeat, do not hit these purple vases because you will lose 100 points if you hit these vases. Screw you, get out of here. Missed a photo and two guards. Well, freaking whoop de doo Ugh. That was horrible. Natural history must be your thing. No, it's not. I thought it was because we were doing so well at the beginning. But then my uh, index finger decided to screw me over on uh, two of the five guards. Ugh. Sorry if this seems boring without any music. I just don't want any copyright infringement strikes on my channel. You guys should understand that. What's kind of weird here is, like, how do they have an exhibit of SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward's houses? And one more thing, why is Patrick's house in the middle and Squidward's house on the left? To me, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Everyone knows it goes Spongebob's house, Patrick's house, and, and then, uh, I mean, Spongebob's house, Squidward's house, and then Patrick's house. By the way, in this room is where you can start, like, throwing Krabby Patties at jellyfish. <laughs> Spongebob's got a stutter going on there. Hit this guy. And the jellyfish. Ah, uh, take the picture, dang it. Thank you. Ooh, blue. You guys blabber some of the funniest things. You can start hitting the jellyfish if you hit, um... There's a thing about the jellyfish. If you hit five jellyfish, then you get a jellyfish group bonus of 50 bonus points. You don't photograph them, you just hit them. Look what this thing does on the left. <laughs> I think it eats the Krabby Patties. That's freaking hilarious. Okay. See? Jellyfish group bonus. 50 points. If you get five jellyfish, you get 50 bonus points. Wow, I want one of those! There's gonna be gimmicks like that throughout the whole level, by the way. Oh yeah! Speaking of which, oh, that was a good hit there. This one is the most interesting right here, this dinosaur. Look at that crap, dude. Holy crap, am I actually going to get like a perfect score? I just got a perfect score. That talk about retribution. Talk about retribution from the crap that happened the last in the last area. <laughs> I like that too. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think Squidward makes a comment at every, uh, at the end of every area. I don't know if it's me or if this is the last area. Um, I don't know if 
it's the last area or not. I can't really tell. Did you see the guard on the right there? These jellyfish make the same noises for the most part that they did in Creatures from the Krusty Krab. I told you they took a lot of stuff from it. God dang. My aim is off or something. Come on, dude. Stop wasting time. Yeah, you better move. Hey, yeah, the shoe co got covered in patty, uh, like patty goop or whatever. Come on, dang it. God dang it. Well, there goes the perfect score for this area. Screw you and you. Whew, just barely got the surfboard. <laughs> and win a harpoon? What the fuck? That King Neptune... What? That King Neptune painting is so stupid. By the way, when you see those guys with hats and a bunch of cameras, do not, let, uh, do not leave them alone for too long because they'll start snapping pictures of you and you'll be deducted some points whenever they take pictures of you. So, just be careful. Little advice. <laughs> I love that animation. Oh god, the guards won't shut up. Cigarettes? Those what cigarettes? Please don't tell me they put something like that in a SpongeBob game. Oh no, wait, they're matches. Huh, <laughs> never mind. Oh, this is the last area, I can tell. Oh god, I gotta get it, get it, get it. Oh shoot, I just barely got that. Darn it. Eh, I'd say about 50 50. And this is gonna be a close call, guys. We're gonna finish this level like right before the time limit. I think this is surprisingly only gonna be a one video thing. Dang it! My aim is off today. I don't get why either. Eh, I got the picture anyway, now die. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, this is where it can be a little bit difficult. Phew. Here's the end of the level right here. Oh, come on. By the way, look, there's the rockfish. The rockfish was also uh, an easter egg you could find in certain levels in Creature from the Krusty Krab. You'll be finding the rockfish in certain levels in this game, too. Uh, you'll be finding him roaming around the area. You just have to look closely for the rockfish. But anyway, that's the end of the level. You got 10,900 points. And a gold amulet. Thank God, because I thought with that mess up at the beginning on the first area there that it was going to be a complete screw-up. But I got perfect on the next area and missed a couple things on this uh, last area. But hey, we got through it before the time limit and we got the gold amulet. So those are the two things that matter the most at this point. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and replay this twice so I can get the silver and bronze amulets. And then I'll be back a little bit later today so I can get you guys uh, 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 the video of the fourth level. Which I will show off briefly here. And uh, sorry if... Uh, Hopefully I can start putting like copyright, uh, I'll put copyright disclaimers in the first few videos, uh, I'll add those on, I'll edit them to, um, so I can add the, uh, copyright disclaimers to them so I don't get copyright infringement strikes on, uh, on my channel cause I don't want that crap, but anyway, in the next episode apparently we're going on a magical musical journey in this weird looking bus. But anyway, this is Tyler Sucks AK, the gaming guy TWG. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and to buy the game, play the game, beat the game. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Google Plus because I leave links for the videos that I recently upload uh, to YouTube there every single day. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Join me next time, I guess, when we head to Atlantis, according to that yellow description down at the middle part of the screen there. But anyway, guys, that's it for now. Peace.